everyone, long time no speak, it's been a while. Recently I realised that I really missed the booktube community and I have been really getting into reading blogs so I decided that I would start doing my own. I'm hoping to make them weekly but they might be like bi-monthly or something, I don't really know. I have a vague sort of plan about what I'll be doing in each one and I won't be back doing regular booktube videos like wrap-ups, TBRs and reviews, I'm just going to be vlogging my reading week because that's what I've been really enjoying lately. Today is the 26th of January and I have been meaning to do this all month so I tried it a couple of weeks ago and I really didn't like how the vlog turned out so I scrapped that. So I'm starting now instead of at the beginning of the year which is kind of an odd time to start but oh well it's the last week of January and I guess this means I'll be doing my vlogs from Friday to Friday. So far this year I've read 11 books which I am so proud of because this is the most I've read in a month since since I was properly like booktubing regularly. Things just got a bit crazy so I kind of fell off the booktubing wagon and then I um, hid all of my old videos. I don't even know if any of you remember who I am. If you do, hi, it's nice to see you again. I'm just going to quickly list off the 11 books I've already read this year just to get that out of the way so we can, you know, start fresh this week. The first one I read was Dear Martin, which wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be. Layover, Together at Midnight, which I loved. Unearthed, which I also loved. It's a really good sci-fi. The Calculus of Change, which is out next month. I didn't really like that one at all. The Lies They Tell, which is out in the summer, that wasn't very good either. King's Cage, which is the third book in the Red Queen series. The fourth one is out in May, I think, this year, and I wanted to catch up and write a recap for Recaptains and I really enjoyed it. It's not the best series, it's not the most well written, and the main character isn't the best main character I've ever encountered, but I still really enjoy it. It's really readable and draws you in, and then the characters have superpowers, so I'm not really sure what else you could ask for. I then read A Conspiracy of Stars, which wasn't very good, The Zookeeper's Wife, which was crap, Love Life in the List by Casey West, which was surprising actually because I haven't really been enjoying her contemporary books all that much since, you know, her earlier ones. But this one was actually quite sweet and quite nice. And then finally I read Honour Among Thieves, which is a sci-fi book and it was okay, it got a bit weird. I'll talk about that in my written review on Goodreads in the blog, but yeah, it got a bit odd and there was a relationship starting between a human and an alien spaceship whale sort of thing. It was, yeah, it was odd. So at the moment I am home from work. It's Friday evening and I have the house to myself. So I'm planning on doing a lot of reading. I've already done quite a bit. I am in the middle of The Woman in the Window, which came out in the UK this week. Yeah, yesterday because I put it on hold in the library because I've downloaded and signed up for Overdrive which is an amazing app by the way, I'm surprised more people in the UK aren't using it. Some people find it quite difficult to access a public library and Overdrive is actually really helpful. My public library doesn't have a lot of the books that I want but it also has ones that I might consider reading, which is quite good actually because I tend to buy the books that I'm dying to read but I can use the library for books that I'm unsure about or ones that I definitely don't want to buy but I'd probably borrow from a friend. Anyway, so I'm currently reading the Woman in the Window, which is a thriller, and it's quite good actually, I'm quite enjoying it. Uh, I've started it today and I'm probably going to finish it today as well. And I'm also in the middle of The Bells. I haven't thought this out at all. Is it backwards for you? It's backwards for me. Everyone is talking about it at the moment. Uh, I am 163 pages in and it's just okay for me. I'm not loving it. The writing is very flowery and descriptive, which isn't really my kind of thing but they've just introduced some sort of like mystery element to the plot, so I'm hoping it will get better. I'm hoping to finish that one today as well because I don't have much left and like I said, I've got the flat to myself. But first I need to do some cleaning up and some cooking because the flat's a tip. Then I can get down to reading and I'll update you all as I go. So it's later on Friday evening now and I've just finished The Women in the Window and I've just realised I haven't actually told you what it's about. It's about a woman called Anna who is suffering from PTSD and agoraphobia because of reasons that I won't go into right now. At the beginning of the book you find out that she is separated from her husband and her husband is looking after her daughter. Anna is too afraid to step outside so she spends a lot of time spying on the neighbours and one night she sees something dodgy go on and a neighbour is stabbed. It was quite good. I actually um, was quite shocked by a couple of the twists in it and the reveal at the end was good. The ending itself wasn't so great just in terms of wrapping things up but I did enjoy it and I'm glad I read it. So now I think I'm going to read some of the bells while I take a bath, uh, maybe play a bit of Skyrim 
to take a break from the reading because I've been doing a lot of reading today. And then I also need to choose my next ebook. I have a couple of books in mind for that, but I think I'm going to mull it over while I take a bath because I can't decide. So I have decided on the books that I'm going to be reading this evening and continuing on with at the weekend. It's currently only half past eight, so I'm hoping to get a little bit more reading done today. So my plan for the moment is to continue with the bells and if I finish it then great, if not I might need a bit of a break again. It's not the best book so far so I've kind of been reading it in bits and pieces, Not that's not to say that I'm hating it or anything, it's just I needed um, to mix up the genres a little bit. So I've decided to pick up another physical book and that is Rebel Hearts by Moira Young. This is the second book in the Dustlands trilogy which debuted in 2011 and Blood Red Road, the first book, was a massive deal in the book community that year and Rebel Heart got about as much hype and then Raging Star didn't get quite so much. So I bought this book ages ago, I think I got it discounted from somewhere and I really liked Blood Red Road so I'm hoping that I'm going to love this. I recently wrote the recap for Blood Red Road for Recap Tins which is going up on Sunday this week so it will already be up by the time you see this vlog. And then I'm hoping that if I get into this I can then recap it for Recaptains as well and then put it up the following week because I'm trying to do a weekly thing. I'll give you an actual synopsis of the series at some point during this reading vlog but I won't right now. Then the ebook that I decided on, um, which I'll be reading on my Kindle slash phone, is The Last to Let Go by Amber Smith which is a book that's coming out in February I believe from Simon & Schuster. I can't remember the publisher because I'm rubbish and because they hardly ever approve me on any of these websites but they did for this one so I'm quite thankful for that because it sounds amazing. Basically it's about domestic abuse. The main character is called Brooke. Her home life is very much abusive. Her mother is arrested for killing her abusive father so I'm hoping it's going to be good. All of the reviews said it's powerful so I'm hoping it's going to be amazing. Um, if it is as emotional as the reviews say it's going to be, then that should be interesting for the vlog. So that's my reading plan for the weekend. Um, I'm not sure how much reading I'm going to get done aside from in the evenings because I'm going ice skating tomorrow and then Sundays I go to the gym and we do our food shop and food prep and stuff. So I might not have that much time to read during the day. But yeah, I'm going to do some reading now and then probably crash because I'm quite tired after working all week. If anything interesting happens in any of the books then I'll obviously let you know. Hey everyone, so I just got home from work, hence why I look like this. Um, I haven't updated in a couple of days because I've been really busy and over the weekend I didn't really do any reading. Um, instead I've been reading during my lunch breaks and after work, so it's working quite well. Um, I'm just about to start prepping for dinner. So as you can see I'm still reading The Bells, um, I haven't actually read any more of it, I'm still on page 160. I'm not really enjoying it to be honest, so I'm planning on flying through that at some point over the next couple of days so I can, you know, just get it out of the way because it really is quite boring so far. I'm hoping it's going to pick up, but so far um, nothing has really happened and I've spoken to a few other people who didn't enjoy it in the beginning and they're, they still didn't enjoy it towards the end, so I doubt I'm going to like it, but we'll see. Um, there's my washing. I shouldn't, let's not look at that. What was the last thing I said I was going to read? Um, I finished The Last to Let Go yesterday and that was really, really good. And then I started Am I Normal Yet, which is a contemporary, UK contemporary. It's about a girl called Evie who has OCD and general anxiety disorder. And it's about her, she starts to come off her pills and then starts to kind of deal with new friends and boyfriends and putting her life back together. And then it keeps like going back and forth between her not doing so well, but then doing better. It's a really good book actually. And I really like the way that the author addresses feminism and mental illness and how she addresses how mental illness is addressed. So yeah, I'm really enjoying that. I'm hoping to finish that today and then go back to the bells maybe um, because it's the 31st of January and I kind of want to get that out of the way before February so I can start fresh. Um, I'm probably going to do a February TBR in my next vlog so then you'll be able to see things I'm planning on reading. Um, but I don't really have a set TBR really. I'm just kind of winging it and it's going quite well obviously because I'm on my 14th book. So yeah. Hey everyone, so it's later on on Thursday evening now. Um, I look like a complete mess because I'm currently quite sick. Um, but I wanted to wrap up this vlog so I could start next week's tomorrow because I'm doing Friday to Friday. I think I've mentioned that. I'm really not feeling very well so you know I look like a complete state. 
but I did manage to finish Am I Normal Yet yesterday. So the books that I read in January came to a total of 14, which is amazing. Normally, well, for the past couple of years, I've been reading about four books a month on average because I've just got distracted. So 14 is amazing. I'm not really sure what happened. I just felt motivated, I guess, and I just kept reading. So I'm not going to complain. I'm hoping February goes just as well and that I won't get into any reading slumps or anything. I'm gonna keep trying to mix up the genres so I don't get bored. At the moment, I'm still reading The Bells. I wasn't able to finish it yesterday and I don't really want to finish it today or, you know, anytime soon because I'm not really enjoying it. But at the same time, I do have a review copy and I always feel a bit bad if I just DNF them. So I might end up just skim reading it and then I'll be able to post at least some sort of review then I'll know what the ending's like. So that's how that's going. I haven't actually started another book, but I am listening to The Gunslinger with my boyfriend. We're, we work at two different places now. We did meet at work at the company I'm currently working at, but he recently got a new job. We're driving separately. So we're spending part of that commute listening to the same audiobook and buddy reading it together, which has been quite nice so far. Actually, we've only been doing it for a couple of days. So the first book that we're doing that with is The Gunslinger, which is quite short. I think it's about seven hours long in the audiobook. We're already on chapter four. Four. The chapters are a bit messed up in the audiobook. Chapter three was actually the beginning of chapter two in the physical book, so I don't really know what they've done there. I'm not loving The Gunslinger, but I am enjoying listening to it and discussing it with my boyfriend because it's more enjoyable that way. I think if I were to read it by myself, I would probably be a bit bored because it's not the most like intriguing plot or exciting or anything just yet. It might improve as it goes on. So that's all the reading that's been going on. I haven't really had much going on. IRL. Um, I've been sick, obviously. Um, we went ice skating at the weekend. I'm gonna hopefully do a monthly like TBR thing at the beginning of next week's vlog because I think it'll be good or fun for me to share what I'm planning on reading over the following month and then I can go back and look at it at the end of the month and see how far I've kind of drifted from the list because that's bound to happen. I'm hoping these vlogs are going to get a bit more exciting as time goes on. Um, I'm still feeling a little bit awkward in front of the camera. I was actually thinking the other day about how um, I used to feel quite comfortable in front of the camera. If you don't know um, already, I've been booktubing for seven years. So I started booktube in 2010 when I started my online blog. I got to a point where I was really comfortable in front of the camera, I really enjoyed vlogging and stuff in public and now I've kind of just lost it, which is a shame really because now I'm feeling a little bit awkward, I don't like to vlog in front of people, even in front of my boyfriend, it's still a bit awkward for me, so I haven't been doing that. I'm just kind of a bit disappointed because I was at a point where I think my reading vlogs could have been a lot better than this one has been, but I'm hoping as time goes on and I do this more and more, I'll get used to it again and I'll feel more um, comfortable in front of the camera and be more charismatic because at the moment I just feel a bit like clunky, I guess, and as I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. So that's the end of week one of my reading vlog, which I finally completed. I'm so happy with myself. I wasn't sure if I was going to manage it because I hadn't for the past like month where I, when I said I was going to. So thanks for watching, especially if you've made it this far because I know it's been a bit you know, up and down. I'll see you next week with my next one. Bye.